Hello everyone and welcome back to number one PCO training. As you can see on the thumbnail of the video, this is going to be a Siru video. We're going to be doing a Siru mock test together. So a full, I won't do the full mock test. I'll do some of them. I want you guys to do the rest on your own. So go to no1pcotraining.co.uk. That's our website. I want you guys to scroll down and then click on free Siru mock exam. Yeah, click check it out. Once you've clicked to check it out, scroll down and click login to enroll. Now it's free. So all you have to do is just put your username, your email, click register. Once you click register, you should receive an email, make your own password. So change your password or it generates a password for you. Okay. So do that test. Um, it will give you your results. Once you get your results, you'll see what's, what, what you got right and what you got wrong. So if you've got it wrong, if you've got something wrong, you'll see it in red and it'll tell you the correct answer. If you feel like you need more practice, um, we do have the full Siru packages. So Siru packages, click on that. We've made sure they're affordable. Yeah, we've cut all the prices down. So we've checked out the competitions uh, prices. We're, 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 we're charging a lot less now. Okay, so like these full Siru courses here, this will help you. So the Siru handbook, the it has 10 sections, right? This is broken down. Let me log in first. I'm already logged in as admin. So this breaks down each section and it gives you mini exams. So for example, you'll see um, each section on the left-hand side. And for example, the first one is the London PHV driver's license in section. Yeah, we'll click it. We'll click the information. So we'll read first and then we'll do a mini quiz. So first part is all the important information have been highlighted also. Yeah, we've also highlighted all the important information. So for example, you must be age 21 years or older to apply fit and proper. You need a B1 level. Anything important has been highlighted. Okay, so just read all the highlighted parts. Then you can click this and just take a little mini exam. Yeah, so start quiz. And you'll see. So what is the minimum age requirement to apply for London PFV driver's license? We've just read that. It was highlighted. Answers 21. Yeah. So we've also just read this. It was highlighted. It's the full DVLA. So each section. So the first section is London PFV driver's licensing. Second section is uh, licensing requirements. Third section is um, the driver uh, carrying out private hire journeys. Four, five, six, etc. Okay. So each section is broken down and it's easier to learn that way. Yeah. So you can also try that. All right. So let's get started with this uh, serial assessment. Let me click start quiz. Remember, guys, this is free and I want you guys to try it also. OK, so I'm not going to do all of it because I want you guys to try it. So the first 12 questions will be fill in the blanks just like this okay so they used to do drag and drop where you have to drag the word into the missing space so now they do a drop list like this so you get a list of words and you just select which one's the correct one okay so the first 12 fill in the blanks okay from number 13 onwards up to number 35 so the next 22 questions the next 22 questions will be uh, multiple choice so you get three options one is obviously the right answer okay and then the last two questions will be uh, reading and understanding questions okay where you have to read the short passage of information given to you and then they ask you a question and you just select the correct statement okay the answer is actually in that short passage of information given to you yeah i'll explain that when we get there okay so let's get started with number one all right so you something the right to live and work in the uk so what do we have here so there's three options really yeah there's three options and three are wrong okay so you must has and you must have are together are restricted and our restrictions are also together okay so remember that guys so you something the right to live and work in the uk so it's got to be you must has or you must have so the correct answer is you must have the right to live and work in the UK. So if there, so if there 
are restrictions or are restricted. So we can say if there are restrictions, so with a capital uh, with a with a S at the end of it, yeah, meaning more than one restriction on a driver's right to live and work in the UK, TfL will add a appropriate or is it an appropriate? So the answer is an appropriate, okay? An appropriate condition on the license. Okay, let's go to the next one. So your license, some conditions attached to it. So your license conditions, some conditions attached to it, doesn't make sense. Your license may has some conditions attached to it, doesn't make sense. Your license may have some conditions attached to it. Now that makes sense, okay? For example, if you have a medical condition or is it conditions? Now, the answer is condition without the S and I'll tell you why. Now, the hint, well, the clue is in here. So if you have a meaning one, yeah? Meaning singular, yeah? So it's not more than one. So a, if you see a medical condition, they're, they're talking about one, okay? I hope that makes sense. So if you have a medical condition, yeah? So it wouldn't be conditions if you have a medical conditions. Now, if the A wasn't there, then it would make sense to say if you have medical conditions, okay? But it's the one without the S, okay? So you may be required to have extra or the extra with a lowercase. Lowercase or capital? Now, it's definitely lowercase, okay? A lot of people are not watching out for this, okay? Sometimes you do get caught out. So remember, you can't have a capital letter in the middle of a sentence, okay? Unless it's the start of a sentence or after a full stop, okay? So there we go. All right, let's do the next one. PHV licenses last something year. And the vehicle, okay, so PHV licenses last for one. So they're talking about the PHV license, meaning the vehicle license. Now, if they said PHV driver's badge, yeah, or PHV driver's license, then that's three years, okay? Because we have to renew the license every three years. With the car is every year they get an inspection, okay? So make sure you're, you're watching out for this. PHV licenses. It does not say PHV driver's license, okay? So PHV licenses last for one year. Yeah, and the vehicle must have or may have. So may have another license and inspection? No, it's got to be must have. So the vehicle must have another license and inspection before a new license can be issued or be issued. So be issued. Okay, I hope you guys got the same. Try and pause the video and do it yourself as well. Okay, if you're not going to go on the website, that is, yeah. All right, let's do number four. If you are registered the keeper, or is it the registered keeper? You see, this is one thing they're tricking people with, yeah. They're putting the words in front of each other. So look, it says registered the, and this one says the registered. So even if you do understand grammar and all of this, you can get caught out if you're not paying attention. So if you are the registered keeper, not registered there, yeah? So if you are the registered keeper of the vehicle, TFL or the manufacturer may write to you to explain what you need or where you need. So TFL may write to you to explain what you need to do to get your vehicle fixed or where you need to. So it's going to be what you need to do to get your vehicle fixed. Now, full stop, I know the next one is going to be a capital letter. So it's going to be you should or is it you should with a lowercase? Now, like I said, we know it's a capital letter because it's at the start of a sentence, okay? So you should always follow the instructions in the letter. All right, so let's do another one. This one I already know it's going to start with a capital letter. It's at the start of a sentence. So is it illegal? To treat anyone unfairly or is it it is illegal yeah you see how they've changed it around yeah yeah make sure you're paying attention to things like this so it's not is it illegal yeah it is 
illegal so it's going to be the third one yeah it is illegal to treat anyone unfairly based on any of the characteristics listed above it is something for you as a phv driver it is unexceptional or is it unacceptable yeah so remember they look the same unacceptable is going to be the one yeah or for any of your customers to use language or behave in a way that discriminates again any person or against any person so we're going to say against any person okay not again yeah so all right so let's do another one there something circumstances were tfl so there may be or there must be circumstances where tfl so there may be circumstances where tfl had important information about the vehicle or have important information remember had is like past tense yeah they're talking now so so it would be have important where tfl have important information about the vehicle you are driving for example the manufacturer may have tell tfl about a fault with the vehicle or told yeah it's going to be told yeah so like i said remember there's two there's one that's right and there's one that's wrong yeah so all together there's six but there's three answers and there's three wrong okay all right so let's do some multiple choice questions now how long is a PHV license valid for? Remember, they have not said PHV driver's license. They said, how long is a PHV license valid for? Now, th now this is the private hire vehicle, meaning the car. So this is valid for a year. Remember, like we said, they get an inspection every year. So they only the license is only valid for one year. Now, if they said, how long is a PHV driver's badge uh, valid for? That would be three years okay so remember the difference okay a lot of people are getting confused with this all right let's do another one which of the following is not a requirement to obtain a london phv driver's license so which one of these do we not need to get a phv driver's license now being physically fit we definitely need to be physically fit having the right to live and work in the uk definitely we need this holding a group three driving license nope this is not the one so it's actually holding a group two driving license. So this is the one uh, that's wrong. Okay. We do not need this. All right. Next. What type of criminal record check is required as part of the application process? Now, this you should all know because it's very common as well. This comes a lot in the exam. Yeah. Now, enhanced. We know it's enhanced. It's not basic for sure. Okay. Because we get, we get enhanced checks done. Yeah. So enhanced obtained via any DBS provider or is it enhanced via TFL's chosen DBS provider? So uh, TFL actually choose their own one. So it's the last one, okay? Another one, when must a PHV driver return their license to TFL if it is suspended or revoked? Okay, so remember this guys, it's in your booklet, the handbook, sorry. It's seven days, okay? Very important one. Again, that comes a lot. All right, next. Let me do all the important ones. You guys can do this in your own time. Okay, this again, very common as well. How often must PHV drivers above the age of 65 have a medical condition? Now, this is every year. Yeah, so anyone over the age of 65 must provide a medical, uh, uh, must uh, do the medical assessment every single year okay so every year all right let's do another one let's see okay this is another important one very common again how soon should you inform tfl if there is a change in your home address now the answer is within 21 days okay try to remember this guys okay 21 days we have to inform them within 21 days all right all right now this one who qualifies as an adult at risk anyone over the age of 21 only those with a disability 
anyone over the age of 18 in need of extra care and support so 18 anyone the old age over the age of 18 okay so the last one is the answer okay okay all right this again this one is important let's do this one any conditions affecting the safety performance appearance or comfort of the vehicle must be reported to tfl within the answer to this is 72 hours again it's in the handbook you'll see it on there okay very important all right so let's do the reading and understanding questions there's two of them i'll do one i'll leave the other one for you guys to do as you can see i haven't done a lot of them because i want you guys to go on the website and try this test yourself and see what you can get it'll give you your result at the end okay but anyway reading and understanding let's read it when you get your license, you will also receive a PHV driver's badge, also known as the photographic ID. You must wear this badge at all times when you are working as a PHV driver. Your PHV driver's badge displays your name, photograph, license number, and the date your license period ends. Which of the following statements is correct? Now, first one, your PHV driver's badge displays your name, photograph, and the date your license period ends. The second one, you must wear your badge and only, only during the day. And the third one is your PHV driver's badge displays your name, photograph, license number, and the date your license period ends. Now, if you look closely, the answer is in this short passage of information is in this text. Your PHV driver's badge displays your name, photograph, license number. Yeah, license number and the date the license period uh, ends your license period ends so this is the key here license number now the first one it doesn't have license number in there okay very similar they look the same but the answer is actually the last one okay because license number and your license period ends yeah the date the license period ends okay all right so there we go i'm gonna leave it there I didn't complete all of it so i want you guys to try it i'll leave the link in the description yeah so remember there's 36 questions you need at least about 22 out of the 36 so it's not really difficult okay so yeah this is the free siru mock assessment okay try it guys anyway thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe okay